The Kurdish flag no longer flies in the center of Kirkuk. The city now officially back in the hands of the Iraqi government, its forces had made a rapid advance. Launched in the middle of the night, 15 hours later, the industrial area, airport, military base and critical oil fields were under the control of Iraqi forces. Soon after, they marched into the center of the city. Iraqi officials were quick to declare victory. The joint military operation was launched at dawn and progressed significantly. As the troops approached the area of Tikrit and the North Oil Company, they were confronted by some rebels who tried to hinder the progress of the advancing units. Our troops returned fire and silenced its source. Thank God today we have achieved all our goals according to our plan. The US military, which had trained both sides in this dispute, tried to downplay the escalation in a statement blaming the firefight on the darkness, calling it a misunderstanding. But Kurdish fighters painted a different picture of what was happening on the ground. I don't know what is happening exactly, because we have been in the fight since four in the morning in the areas of Taza. We have suffered casualties, including martyrs, and now we have withdrawn to this position. Some of the other forces have pulled out. They didn't fire a single shot. And that's all. But we, the 37th Brigade, are holding our position here. Thousands fled the city as the forces approached, mixed in among them Kurdish fighters. Now, as the US urges dialogue and calm, the question is, what's next? Will Iraqi forces and their militias pursue the Kurdish people and fighters? That answer will have an impact here and around the globe. Oil prices are climbing with the news. The possibility of, uh, of uh, a civil war, perhaps, in Iraq with uh, Kurdish forces fighting both the Iraqi army and possibly uh, Iranian militias uh, w did not play well with the, uh, with the world's oil traders. And so the perception is that uh, prices will rise uh, until that sort of event risk is completely uh, characterised, shall we say, and understood. Most world powers had warned the Kurdish regional government not to go ahead with a non-binding referendum where the majority of people voted for secession from Iraq. Now the people of this region and their government are finding out there is a very real price to be paid in their search for independence. The speed with which the Iraqi army were able to achieve their aim has left the Kurdish regional government shocked and wanting answers. And already there are questions being asked as to whether certain members of one of the main two Kurdish political parties may have colluded with the Iraqi military in order to ensure such a swift and easy victory in and around Kirkuk. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Erbil.